Hello everyone, I'm Digital Brace and I'm going to show you how to work in the new T-Loop interaction puzzle. I have the puzzle pulled up here and open. The first thing I'm going to show you is the new T-Loop constraint. Players can hover over that to see the exact specifications in case you would like to view those. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is click on this little carrot arrow to open the toolbox. Here are our two stampers we will use. The first one is the A, and I'm going to stamp that in right here at position 5. Second is T loop B, and I'm going to stamp that in around position 70. Now, you can place these anywhere within the puzzle you would like, and you can actually flip the position of the two. They don't have to be left and right necessarily. Now, when that is done folding, I'm going to close the toolbox. And you can also move these up, as it says in the instructions, you can move these up into your toolbar if you like. I'm going to close the toolbox, and I want to create some more structure around this. So I'm going to use Magic Glue. And I already have this moved up into my toolbar. So I'm going to click two bases on either side of this stem, because I want a longer stem. There we go. And zoom in so we can see this better. Now I'm going to do three here. One, two, three. One, two, three. You have to do the same number of nucleotides in order for them to form together. And I want to do, maybe I'll do a longer stem over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six and they snap together. Now I want to do a bulge. So I'm going to leave two empty there, and I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I think I got six there. So I'll take one off. You can just click, re-click it to take off the highlight. And then one, two, three, four, five. Together like that. And I'll put a bulge on this side now. One, two, three, four, five. No, that's six. Undo that. Four, five. Now that now I have five. One, two, three, four, five. And they click together like that. And then over here I would probably make another stem. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And those click together. So now I've created a structure in the target mode. When I go into natural mode, of course, it's not folding it, folding at all like that. Go back into my target mode, and what you'll want to do is fill in all your pairs, and in your loops, fill in what you want until you create your T-loop structure that satisfies all the constraints, and then you'll submit it. And for players who haven't submitted previously who are new, you use this button down here that says so publish your solution. That is how you submit. And that is how you create a T-loop interaction. I hope everyone has fun with this new challenge.